How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about why the Netherlands is so insanely well designed. Um, and it's going to be the Dutch versus American day. So I'm not sure what this is about, but I already know that their streets are way more designed, way better than ours. Way better. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. This is by Adam Yats. So if you enjoy today's content, check out his channel. Let's do it. Videos about the Netherlands' urban design have garnered over 3 billion, 98 million, and 427,000 views on YouTube, and is featured in almost every urban design article. But only a few people have witnessed how different their North American day would be if they lived in the Netherlands. So in this video, we'll see how the same workday is experienced in a typical car-centric North American city versus the livable Netherlands. I was absolutely blown away by the seemingly normal workday. North America, which is like, I'm I'm right below that. Below the water, that's that's pretty much where, where I live. So this should be pretty interesting. Lived in two different cities. Let's dive in. Let's note here. In North America, I had to get up earlier in order to get to work on time. Not in the Netherlands. So getting in the car here, starting my commute, where we have some traffic, straightforward. In the Netherlands, just getting up. Cool. Now, this is where it gets interesting. In the Netherlands, this feels wonderful. In North America, you would think that not leaving your car would feel nice, but it just feels like you're in a terrible lineup. Thank you. You too. In the Netherlands, they have safe bicycles everywhere. Do you know how rare that is in North so in the Netherlands, are you allowed to uh, drive up to drive ups on your bike and order food? We cannot. I know that because I've seen somebody walk up to the gas to the drive up and they did not get their order taken. They had to go inside and order. But yeah, North America. And do you know what's interesting? Through their parks, they actually have designated bicycle routes. We don't do this in North America. No, we don't. This is not a car road. It's a bicycle only road. You can see the cars are on a separate road above. You can see they have underpasses to avoid conflicts with cars. It's incredible. Absolutely 100% safe. Not in America, guys. We ride our bikes on the road. In fact, I um, would rather my kids ride their bike on the road than on the sidewalk the sidewalks are really bad they uh it, it, it's a it's a hazard and people should not be using them now onto a road that shared with the cars but they're forced to go slow because there's traffic coming so quick fast forward here you got some traffic in north america and more separated bicycle roads in the netherlands are you guys trying to see what I mean here? This is insane. The funny thing is, these are both underground parking garages, but the bicycle parking garage feels way, way better. You don't see this in North America. That's cool, and no, you absolutely do not see that. Ever. I've never seen one of these. Um, what I was going to say, though, is... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. It's brilliant. About to work on time, both days. Good. Cool. So, grabbing some lunch, back in the car in North America, and back on the bicycle roads in the Netherlands. Okay, so just parking. In North America, this has no sense of place. Th so, if you were in America and you are riding your bike, it would not be faster. In Netherlands, yes, it probably would be faster because they make it so... Like, they make it so convenient for bikers and walkers and stuff. Not... Not with us. We are driving with the cars. Uh, we are waiting for the cars to be able to cross the street. Like, it is all about the people and the vehicles. This could really be any strip mall. Grabbing lunch and back on the road. In the Netherlands, this has a sense of place. You feel like you're a part of something. Yeah. Back to work.
Here we go, commuting home. Okay, so we're leaving, which means we gotta get back on the roads. Because the commute is half the time, I have time to hit the gym. In North America, ooh. Traffic, it's a lot, isn't it? The attempt at the same day is really diverging now. Okay, so we have to do a quick errand. In North America, this means getting back in the car. And driving 15 minutes. <laughs> if I needed to go to the store right now, it'd be a three-hour walk and a 15-minute drive. Did figure that one out. And in the Netherlands, this means a quick walk to the grocery store. I got a text from a friend asking if I want to go out for dinner and a drink. In North America, this means checking the Uber rates. See that it's surcharging to $46. I tell my friend, maybe on the weekend, in the Netherlands, the restaurant is walking distance and it's an easy decision. Just as a side note, in North America, I'm filling up gas so I'm ready for the next day. In the Netherlands, I'm out being social, in North America, although I want to be social, I don't want to spend any more time in the car. In the Netherlands, this was a really memorable night. In North America, this was not memorable. This stood out to me. The experience of doing my daily activities in two different cities and how city design plays such a significant role in how I experience the days. The same day lived in the Netherlands resulted in more personal and social time and a healthier lifestyle. But how that's actually enabled, as city planners were interested in that stuff. We want to make cities like that. You have your perception of navigating and experience in a city, and then you have the reality of designing that city, providing safe and convenient alternatives to the car, creating mixed-use walkable neighborhoods, and creating a sense of place. In Toronto, people spend, on average, one-eighth of their waking life in the car, eating, making phone oh, calls, wow. listening to podcasts. Largely, this isn't a choice. It's a direct result of North American city design. As Strong Towns would say, people see cars as freedom. There's the freedom to own a car and to travel great distances, but then there's the freedom to live without a car, insurance, maintenance, gas, parking, and traffic. Freedom yeah. is perspective. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe. That is completely true. I I will have to I will have to say that is the most true video I've ever I've ever seen. I do not feel very good today, guys. You've probably noticed I'm just really blah. My nose is stuffed up. My eyes are itchy. They hurt. I'm over it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry if this was such a boring video for you guys, but I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.